Everything is made of smaller things. A walk is made of steps. When I started walking in March of 2020, I was not a walker. I started by walking a few blocks in my neighborhood. On my first day, I walked a mile, around 2200 steps. Now I have gone for a long walk every day, without exception, for what is approaching 4400 miles of shuffling along on asphalt, cement, gravel, grass, clay, and mud, picking up discarded objects, looking at and listening to the world. There is something meditative for me about the act of walking that seems to bridge the place between being and doing. Sometimes my walks follow one of a few regular paths and sometimes I wander. Usually, the daily stroll involves some combination of a routine and a variation, repetition and improvisation. As my body wanders through Durham, so does my mind, and this thinking feeling experience has been core to what has been a transformational time for me in a period I've come to think of as my undeadening. What do we gain or lose when we veer from the path? What new investigations arise from embracing a wander instead of a beeline? A drawing is made of lines. When I started the black and white grid drawings that comprise the wallpaper component of this room, I made a 10 by 10 grid and started making a few parallel lines in one of the central squares. Each square became a new choice to continue on the same path from the previous square to create a cohesive set of lines occupying two squares or to take the ink lines in a separate direction to start a new path. The wandering nature of these drawings grew even when the underlying structure remained the same, and the meditative quality of working within a set framework allowed for more cerebral meandering. Where does one thing end and another begin? Where do I end and you begin? How do the push-pull of repetition and improvisation, the intersection of the constructed and the natural, or fluctuating tensions between order and chaos, formal and informal, or personal and impersonal, inform artwork? Why am I drawn to these tensions? This room is made of actions. It started with a table I dragged up the stairs and the metal chair I swiped from the 506 green room. 
I taped a grid onto the chair and I sat down in it to draw repetitively and improvisationally. Drawing is a physical task that we do with our bodies, like the other tasks in this work. Hauling and stacking and sorting, painting, scrubbing, sanding, taping, cutting, hammering, measuring, scratching, tearing, pressing, pulling, drawing, I continue to wander through materials and shapes and concerns, and I do this through a series of physical actions. This room, like everything, is made of smaller things. When I think about how everything is connected by way of our smaller components, how this verbena leaf and that bus stop sign and my body and this chair and your body and all of the things in our backpacks or junk drawers or this room are made of ever smaller particles. All the same atoms or quarks or dharmas or gluons or whatever level of diminution you want to break down our components. It somehow brings me comfort makes me feel like part of the world, and less like some drifting and solitary balloon, I suppose. I take comfort too in knowing that daunting tasks, be they small, like getting out of bed when everything seems terrible, or large, like changing how our government serves us, can be broken down into smaller discrete tasks. I focus on what I can control. I focus on what I can control in very small increments. My feet take these steps. My hand makes marks on a paper. My body performs this task. Everything doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be. Did I realize the vision I had when I started this project in mid-June? Is this coherent? Is it amazing? Does it transport? Is it a finished product? I mean, it has its moments for a three-dimensional field journal, but no, no, not really. Are there successes where I took a detour? Yes. Are there dead ends? Yes. Did I successfully, fully activate this space? Uh, no, I think not. But... Here's what I did do. I made this. I made this and I am still making it with my body and brain and heart. The room was one way, and now, through a series of actions, both repetitive and improvisational, it is another way. Through thought and will and action, transformation was and is possible. This room is a drawing. A drawing room and it started with one line.